Smashed padlock. Someone broke in. Yeah, they did. Ooh, what's this? It's locked. All right. Ah, love. You. Oh, we got something over here, I think. Empty wine bottles, leftovers. Big to do? Not likely. Hmm. That what we got down this way. Oh, hello. We'll uh, investigate up top first, I think. Met in a gate. I'll take it this is just the way out. No. Alright, come on then. Where's... Do we have any other clues? There has to be something about. Oh, yeah. Hello. Graves dug up. Thing is, grave robbers don't usually wail and moan that much. No, the dawn. Lots of tracks. Not much I can glean from them, though. Right, where are the tracks? Gotta come back after dark. Oh, right, okay. Right, so we need to come back after dark. Right. So what we'll do is we'll just see what's down here. There's something going on down there, but I'll, I'm going to wait until after dark. Like I said, I'm just going to pop out here if I can. Yeah. And then... <laughs> meditate till 10, 10 o'clock. What do you mean I can't do that now? Right, so we are down the bottom here. What we got? Something still down below us. So, noise is coming from here. Sounds like someone's being bloody tortured. What the hell is going on here? I suppose I should think about actually looting that. What the fuck is going on? What have we got down this way? Is it me or should it just go on and on this place? Right, there's nothing to loot here. There's all sorts to ignite there, but where's this lead up here? Probably another way out. Oh no, it's a door. Right, okay, I get it. So it looks like there'd be lots of little runoffs where you can maybe not get out, but people, other people can get in if they've got a key. And what we've got down this way. Oh. Oh, Alquest. Formula, mutation, transmuter, blue to red, and a parchment. Or is it just parchment? Yeah, it's just parchment. Master armor repair kit, master weapon repair kit, dragon skip. Oh, this is getting nice here. Definitely glad I'm I came down here. 
got something here as well. Got ashes, we'll take it just in case, you never know, it might come in handy. Orange, ashes in a skull. Can always sell the skull. And what we've got this way. Oh shit man. We've got something here. Looks like man, so we'll get some hangman to end them on. Axie. Grave robbers here. Come on, come closer. That's one gone. Bleeding or poisoned, even. Oh, you bitching thing. I'm stuck. That's better. Poisoning. Nice. Jeez, I tell you what, you've got to be a lot more patient. I was hoping it would be. Come on then, keep running. Oh, you fucking dicks. Right. going down. Whoa, fuck me. That's another one gone anyway. Oh, what? Right, that's him gone. So either. Oh, Alcoest. We're starting to get a bit of Alcoest. That's good. Right. Yeah, we're definitely going to be taking some of this lot. I don't care what people think. Grave robbing. If they can do it, so can I. Two sort of cool guardsman's trousers. Nice. A few swords. What we got here? Key required. Or just from Robin. So there must be a key somewhere. Or just from Robin. The foolish flatulence fluffer Bruce has tried to cheat us again, but you won't get away with it this time. Take a pickaxe and a shovel and pay our dearly departed boss a visit. Her kitty face was hideous to look at even when she was alive. So the very thought of looking at it now she's dead gives me the bloody runs. <laughs> Take the jewels, pearls and other valuables and bum the bidding bruise tossed into her grave. Oh, and if you see the milksop hanging around the cemetery, break his neck. Robin. Yes, apparently ever since Selena's death that kid's been moping near Alimur's cemetery, howling at the moon. If I know life, and I do, he's got with him the key to the chest we buried with that bitch. Perhaps we could end his suffering by ending his miserable life in the lake if he hasn't drowned himself already, that is. The last exploit of Selena's gang. 
Hello. Hello, Moggy, Moggy. So where the hell is... Where do I get this key? I take it the key's not here. Copper Nickel or Copper or Nickel Arion. Uh, Nickel or, okay. Right. I can't remember where I came in here. I think I'm a bit lost. Now, did we pick up a key there? No. So we've got to go and do that quest and we'll pick up the key and come and pick that up, I think. So, what about this way? What we got round here? I think we are actually slowly making our way to where we uh, need to be. Unintentionally. Temple Cemetery Beauclair. What do we have here? I am worried about going in here. Especially the way I'm fighting with this at the moment. Not a soul. Strange. What the fuck? It doesn't look anything like a grave hag's lair either. What the hell? Here lies Margot de Quarantin. Oh shit! You know what? I'm, I, I, yeah. Before anything, where the hell is my spectre oil? Doctor, I've only got normal spectre oil. Or have I got any spectre oil? You are yanking my chain. Smashed as if someone threw it against the wall. Yeah, is somebody trying to find something, or...? Hmm, gold. Can't be grave robbers. None worth their salt would have left this. No, they wouldn't. Louis de Quarantin. Died on the day of St. Zoethan's remembrance. Hmm, noises started right around then. Pretty fresh. Funeral wasn't too long ago. No sign of monsters or grave robbers. Bit of a mess, that's all. Maybe this isn't the spot after all. Strange. Yeah, search the source of the noises in the catacombs. Okay. So this, it could be absolutely anywhere. That must be a way out. Well. Noises clearly coming from that tomb. Impossible. not right. Need to hide, see how things play out. Right, so where can I hide? We go behind the statue? Yeah. Sometime later. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? You draw the lie about all day. Flipping those cards like some dwarf. Oh, you kidding? Disgusting. Indeed. It's far better to stand at the door of Leviodas Temple, mumbling prayers from dawn till dusk. You great. I prayed for you that you would cast off the yoke of gambling. Fine job you did of it. Seems the gods had also heard enough of your cackling. And you? Why are you here? This is a private conversation. <laughs> An argument between a married couple. That just seems to happen to be dead. Uh, what exactly are you arguing about? What's this argument about, anyway? Sort of. Not your concern. Could help you resolve it. I know not your name, but you must help me. I refuse to spend eternity at the side of this heathen. Remove him from my crypt at once. Slow down. What's the problem? This is my crypt. And this saintly shrew harangues me even in death. 
an eternity of nagging for misery. <laughs> I was blind and a fool to marry him. He's a slave to the cards, prepared to wager his own child on a round of Gwent. Once, damn it, and as a jest, how many times must I explain? And who sank our fortune into some silly statue of Leviosa? Piety. That was my cause. The prophet immortalized would have transformed this land of blasphemy and betting. How was I to know it was all a fraud? Wow. Because I warned you <laughs> some five hundred times. Quiet. Shut up, both of you. Yeah, you tell him. Whose crypt is this, rightfully? Who does the crypt belong to, rightfully? Must you ask? It's mine. My family's. With the current towns. Are you illiterate? Uh, no. But my dowry served to repurchase it from those you owed. Ah. No, there's to be peace and quiet here. One of you's gotta go. Need to move one of you out. Yes. Take him. Please. Do so. And I shall. I shall tell you where I fit his lucky Gwent cards. What? I knew it was you. And <coughs> you would evict me from my crypt. Well, it's not your crypt. She paid for it. It all. Had I those very cards at the tournament in Valhaven, I'd still be alive. It's your fault, you pox incarnate, that they stabbed me to death. They murdered you for your debts. I had nothing to do with it. Come, I heed this good book, thumping wench. Mind, I know well where she hit those cards. I'll tell you myself as soon as you've removed her. Uh, I don't think he does. <sighs> Need to think about it. All right, gotta move one of them out. Right, okay. Speak the prophet Lepiota. Thou shalt not play I'm gonna... Game. I'm gonna Do take his... Get... Added, for you shall have none left for me. I think I'm gonna take his... his her now. Because, uh... She paid for him to basically get the lands and fortune back. So, really, it belongs to her. Not to this muppet. Yeah, I'm taking his head. He can go breathing, shove it up his ass. I see you fell for that pious tart driven drat. Oh, well, then listen. I request to be a good fellow and set me in the chamber of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. It's just round the corner. Sure. You a member? That's just it. I was not. But I would have dearly liked to have been. And joining them in death shouldn't bother anyone. Mm. Certainly doesn't bother me. I'll do it. Where's this chamber? Ah. Uh, once you enter the catacombs, go straight. The chamber will be on your right, near the corridor's mouth, and I thank you. Yeah, separate you both. You'll both have a more peaceful death. <laughs> Brilliant. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Come on. This is going to be fun. We're going to get more aggro, I think, somewhere. Right, now where? This way? What's this? Yellow armor die. We have die. We can dye our armor. Nice. 
Private Chamber of the Right Honourable Members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair, may they always draw their best. Private okay. Chamber, the Right Honourable Members of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair, this is it. Search Chamber to find a place for the urn, collect your reward for solving the mystery of the no nocturnal noises at the cemetery. But don't I need to go back and... Oh, hello. I'm getting ready just in case he's decided they're going to want to fight me again. Gents also looking for that Gwent club? Someone's going to be in trouble. Who are you? Who sent you? So many questions, so few answers. Blank. We're the plumbing philosopher. Get the smarmy cat. I knew it. Lads. If I only had a crown for every time a bunch like this. me axi. Come on then, one at a time would be great, but oh, it's going to happen one at a time. Night. This one, this one has gone a touch better than uh, the last fight. There we go. Right, we'll see what these lot have got on them as well. Probably not that much, but you know, it's all going to help. Right, what we've got in here? Two salt colour guardsman's armour. Now where am I gonna put him? That ought to do. What ought to do? Oh just here. Oh and we've got something here as well. What's this gonna do for us? Ode to Gwent. Proposal number seven for the anthem of the Gwent Friendship Society of Beauclair. Author Stefan de Stefan de Dove Master Cooper. Gwent is like a ruby wine. Gwent's Gwent's a knight with a lady fine. When before you two armies clash, your cares melt off in a dash. Then you wish but to play, 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 but hair in doors winds hit the hey, hey, hey. Such minds are dull as muddy yards to think this but a game of cards. Chorus. Gwent is my liberty, Gwent is my fraternity. Gwent relieves the day's sorrow and Gwent is my morrow. Poker had it and dice is a bore. There's no other game that makes you want more. There are no better. There are no better satisfactions, better than Beauclair's Bells is its list of attractions. Greater than ever the festivals of drink, or even the tipsy young minx. They can holler and shout. They can release the guards. I'm leaving home. I'm off to play cards. Gwent is my liberty. Gwent my fraternity. Gwent relieves a day's sorrow. Gwent is my morrow. Nice. Right, let's get this guy, uh, Lewis, sorted. Right. High time Marco paid up. Yeah. Otherwise there'll be trouble. He'll be coming back in and she'll be going out. If I can remind my wit. If I can. You know, if I could speak, it would be great. If I can remember my way. Right, Marco, give me my cards. I want my cards now. Done. Now where you got those cards? Leave the city through the Cooper's Gate. Then we are right. Our house is easily recognized. A tree atones the sign above the door. I 
that is the chest in the garden beneath the rose bush. Tree on a sign, rose bush. I think I got it. Yeah, it's going to be on peaceful now. What you did to it, Louis. True, he knew nothing in life of Gwent, but I would still prefer he not spend eternity in a ditch all pretty. Don't worry about it. Found him a nice place. Ought to feel right at home. Farewell. Right, so we need to collect our reward and go to the house of the tree shaped crest, uh, which is where we're going first. Oh, so it was right next to the entrance. Really, right next to the entrance. Using, uh, oh, we've got armors, we've got all sorts around here. Oh, this is great, there's everything we could ever need. Unfortunately, we haven't got the money to do anything with. What the hell is going on? We've got another quest here. That's one of the quests you've already picked up. But you know, you do go round and about all over the place here. But I think navigating uh, these streets on the roach could be even more of a hassle. So, so I'm going to say this must be Cooper's Gate. And it should be in here somewhere. Medallion's honey. Something's not quite right. What the hell is going on here? The tricks, isn't they? The chapters. Whoa, what the hell? Is that? Whoa, fuck! Oh, fuck me! Die, you plastic thing! What the hell? Push. Right. What the hell was that? Bloody hell. It's definitely mm, not here. Definitely back to the first game there. That's it. I can't remember. There were Water Essence, Monster Sport, Arca Sport. Juice, I spot tendril, green mutagen. Cool. Right. What about this one? I keep getting out of bleeding ask it. Uh, just like she said. Right, so what have we got? Vampire Bruxer. Is that it? And the Gwent cards. As promised. And it's just that one Gwent card that we got. Oh, we probably didn't have to buy all them. We'd have got them all. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, okay. So, is there anything else in here? Yeah, there is. Garden key, broken rake, bag of grain. Ooh, bag of grain for Roach. When we've got the money to, uh, come on, go in. Yeah, thank you. 
Get in. Might as well go and have a look to see what they've got in the house as well, haven't we? Oh, food. Yeah, because you never know what we might find. What you get. Right, what we've got in here. A plate. A platter. Lovely. Nostrix. Magic root fifth essence. Oh, fifth essence and beliefs fruit. And some florins. Right, so we've got some bits anyway. That's fine. That's okay. I can live with that. Right, now we need to go and uh, collect our reward, which isn't very... Oh, look at the stars. Look at it. Wow. Beautiful. Come on, Roach. Let's have you. What is the pheasant who's fooling up? Come on. Where are you? Roach, this way, if you don't mind. On an empty stomach. Oh, dreadful. Oh. Didn't even see him there. in there. Slower. How do we get in there? Oh, come back to it. Guess it's a champion. <laughs> right. You're not afraid of the blessed beast, are you? Nope. Slow now. Not at all. Okay, so let's talk to him. Where is he? Just him here. Yeah, you see, yeah, he just moved. Hey there, I'm done. Cemetery ought to be real nice and quiet now. Ah. <sighs> To sleep in my own bed once more. The clocks has grown intolerably loud. The punters bellow like men possessed. One madman especially, always shouting, Audrin! 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 <laughs> tell me, at the cemetery, what was it? Beasts, as you claimed? Are we actually going to come across Audrin? Uh, actually, just a matter Oh, hang on. Yeah, tough job. Barely survived. <laughs> No. Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like Stuart pole cats. Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here for your trouble. Why, well, thank you very much, sir. Thanks. Right, okay. So, next, we will go and carry on with... Turn and face a strange. We will get to Moreau's grave. But for now, what we'll do is we'll take a break here and then we'll continue with that in the next episode. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. <laughs>